I'm Anil Kumar and here is a practice test question on polynomial inequalities. The question is, when is 4x to the power of 4 plus 6x cubed minus 6x square minus 4x greater than 0? Show both factor table and the graph. So it's a practice question. I'd like you to pause the video and answer the question and then watch my solution. Now we have the equation 4x to the power of 4 plus 6x cubed minus 6x square minus 4x greater than 0. That is the inequality. We need to solve for inequality that means to find the interval during which the polynomial is greater than 0 or positive. So let's factor it. We can see that 2x is common so let's factor out 2x first. So we get 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 3x minus 2 should be greater than 0. Now we have a polynomial of degree 3 whose constant is minus 2. So we can try for plus minus 1 plus minus 2 and see which one gives us a 0. So let's try what is p of 1 for this given polynomial. So if I write 1 here I get, you can use the calculator, right? So 2 times 1 cube is 1 plus 3 minus 3 minus 2 and that is 0. So that means x minus 1 is a factor, correct? So we can now perform synthetic division and then find the other factors, correct? So let's perform the synthetic division to factor 2x cubed. So for that, let me write down these coefficients which are 2, 3, minus 3 and minus 2. We need to divide by 1, correct? So what do we get? So let me draw a line here actually. Okay. So what we really get is bring down 2, multiply by 2, add them 5 multiply and write so you get 2 here multiply and write and as expected we get a 0 perfect so we get a 0 here and this is a quadratic equation which could be written as 2x square plus 5x plus 2 right so 2x square plus 5x plus 2 so we get uh, this quadratic equation after factoring which can be factored here 2 times 2 is 4 and we need a sum of 5 so we can write 5 as 4 plus 1. So let's write down this as 2x square plus 4x plus x plus 2 and that gives us 2x is common right and we get x plus 2 plus x plus 2 and that is x plus 2 common and we get 2x plus 1. So that is also factored. Now after factoring, we can write down this polynomial as 2x times, we know x minus 1 is a factor. And we got these two factors, which are x plus 2 times 2x plus 1. And that should be greater than 0. So this is the inequality which we are trying to solve. Now we clearly know the zeros. So the zeros are at x equals to 0, this 0 is at 1, this 0 is at minus 2, and this is at minus half, right? Now, as mentioned in the question, we need to show both factor table and the graph to find the answer. So, let's first make the factor table, right? So, let me just make a line here. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4 factors. So, let me draw these four lines. These four zeros will divide the interval in five regions, right? So minus two, so let me write minus two as my first zero, then minus half I have, right? And then at zero and at one. So these are the zeros. Now, uh, so these zeros have divided this interval into one, two, three, four, and five parts. So let us take test points in each part, right? So we can have a test point as minus 3 here 
and a test point minus 1.5, test point of 0 0.25 since this is half and we can take point of 0 0.5 here and let us say 2. The factors for us are 4 in number so we'll draw 4 lines here. So I'm trying to squeeze in all the information. So let's write these factors one by one. So I'll write the first factor as x plus 2. The second one is the one with this 0, which is 2x plus 1. The third one with 0, which is 2x. And the last will be with plus 1, 0, x minus 1. I prefer to write them in a particular order from left to right zeros. Now let's test the points. If I substitute minus 3 here, this will be negative. Minus 1.5 gives me positive and all these will give me positive. In this case, if I substitute minus 3, negative. Minus 1.5, negative. Minus half, well, 0.25, will give me a positive value. These all will be positive. Now for 2x, this is these three will be negative these are going to be positive and for x plus 1 negative negative 0.25 with the negative sign this is negative negative and that one will be positive now as far as the function is concerned which is product of all of these right so let's count the number of negative signs 1 2 3 4 that will result in positive 1, 2, 3 will result in negative, 2 will positive. The function is negative here and positive there. And therefore, we need we are looking for greater than 0. So our solution is indeed these answers. So these are the intervals which are our solution. And we can write down our solution here, so which is the answer. So interval, this one is from minus infinity to minus 2. And then we have from minus half to zero and then we have from two to infinity right so since they are greater than no equal to sign will be used or no square brackets correct so that is the factor table method now how do you do with the graph i think with the graph is the simplest of all now with the graph what we should do is we know we have degree four right side up right and both up upsides so right side up means we have a graph which will go kind of like this all are linear zeros okay so we'll go through these zeros and that's it you can clearly see that if this is my x-axis then we are positive in these intervals do you see that which are positive here this interval do you see that positive and this interval. So, so easy to verify. My suggestion is even if not asked for, draw the graph and check your answer, right? So definitely the solution for this question is as written. I hope you understand and appreciate it. You can subscribe to my videos and practice to get good marks. Thank you and all the best.